promised to them by God. We pick up this story as the Israelites enter the Promised Land. It takes 11 days total to walk from the Red Sea to the Promised Land, yet the Israelites took 40 years. This is because of the constant grumbling and complaining. As you can see, they not only refused to focus on their journey instead of themselves, but they had the nerve. They were already a year into their journey, and when they finally arrived at the Promised Land, the Lord said to Moses, I am the voice of God. Send out men to explore the land of Canaan. See what the land is like and find out whether the people who are living there are strong or weak, few or many. Is the soil fertile or poor? Are there many trees? Do your best to bring back samples of crops, you see. When the spies arrived, they cut down one branch with a single cluster of fruit so large that it took two of them to carry it on a pole between them. Caleb and Joshua were saved from. 
The Israelites were then forced to wander for 40 more years as a consequence for conforming to what the majority had to say and not trusting God's plan and his holy power. No one, save Caleb and Joshua, allowed to enter the promised land. These people went through this journey so that every generation from then on could, could, could benefit from the experiences. There are many lessons that could be taken away from this journey, and this week of hope, we really reflect on one. This journey is one of faith, of choosing not to conform, choosing to allow God's truth to influence you rather than those of this world. Caleb and Joshua had so much faith in God that even when they faced death, they still believed that he would carry them through and deliver his promise to them. And the world today is constantly telling you to be like the doubting Israelites and to conform. But we need to be more like the Caleb's and the Joshua's in this world. You know, to keep, to be transformed by the renewing of our mind, keep our focus and our faith on God. We're called out, we're set apart, we're to live as God's people, as he's called us, trusting his promises no matter what the world has.